Hey, Sean, thank you very much for giving us a little bit of your time. Um, we're at your call today for Mo Prize Priority Boxing. Uh, firstly, it's great to see you down here. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit like what, why you got down here today? Firstly and foremost, who doesn't want to come to your call? The, the tradition here, the history here is massive. All kinds of people have boxed here. You really can't be a serious British boxer if you haven't boxed at your call. That's why I'm here. I like a bit of boxing, some family history. When I was younger, much younger, I tried boxing. Not that good at it, but I've always liked to watch. And my uncle Dennis is a massive boxing fan. You know, he's from the sort of haggler age, and I just, I've always kept up with it since then. Yeah, it's funny, I was just talking to one of the boxers on the show that, um, and it's his first time boxing at your call. And again, to kind of say what you just said, it's um, if you haven't fought at your call, it's like, you know, it's part of the journey, isn't it? Like yeah. The following boxer, yeah, yeah. yeah. Better. And the venue is, I think, as for a boxing match, the venue's perfect. It's just about the right size to feel like a big occasion, but it's intimate enough to be important, to be like, it's almost like you're sat on everybody else's lap and you're close to the fight as well. It's not really a bad view in the building, is it? Exactly, exactly. And I used to work in the old Wembley Stadium. There's a couple of bad views in there, I'll tell you. Yeah, I've, I've been there before as well. And obviously, I'm sure you've been in the back here and you've seen the light. And yeah. it's, it's real grassroots yeah, kind of boxing. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's where you start. And this is a platform. If you're someone who, who's taken boxing seriously at an amateur level, this is that nice link to try and go professional, and it happens here in your call. There's hundreds, thousands of people who started their professional career right here. And obviously they hold the TV events in our match room, um, Eddie Hearn, Frank Ryan holds them here as well, and it's a stepping stone, isn't it? Uh, you know, to, like you say, to the, to the next level, really, isn't yeah. it? I mean, there's many a sport that could do with this, with this, uh, with the equivalent venue and equivalent setup to go from, you know, very good amateur to professional and again you see your call has been doing that for years and years and years and you get new events now that happen um, but that's that's the beauty of the place not only is it a tradition it's also evolving yeah absolutely um, let's talk a little bit about yourself obviously your um, people don't know you're running for London, London Mayor mm. how did you get into kind of politics running for London Mayor really comes from the fact that I'm really I'm interested in people party politics man. I'm the conservative candidate of course and I'm a conservative but party politics is not what's important to me I come from a youth work background and I've dealt with so many boys and a few girls who just get involved in all kinds of madness and I've always tried to find ways to get them to you know be in charge of their own future, write their own legend, that kind of thing and that meant setting up job clubs, setting up football clubs, bringing some of my boys boxing, that kind of stuff, fishing even, mm -hmm. but it's just anything that let me connect to them so that I could ask them to take care of their own future and give them some opportunities. And coming here today is just an extension of that. I don't do as much face-to-face -face work as I used to because of all the politics, mm -hmm. but coming here just keeps me in touch with the grassroots and reminds me how people are doing and the challenges that young people face and older people as well. So, you know, you touched on a few things there. I mean, obviously, a youth worker, um, it's, it, it, you must have seen so many, um, you know, your kid, your kids in bad situations and, and obviously helped them. I mean, uh, from, from your perspective, as you know, if you got in London, is, is boxing one of those things that you would certainly try and promote a lot more and maybe open some more um, youth centres or try and get kids into boxing? Kind of? So here's what I see as a unique thing about boxing. Boxing does something important to the self. So it gives you self-discipline, self-control, and self-belief, and they're crucial. But also it links you to something that's bigger than yourself. You're a member of your club, you're a member of this big scene, you could make it to your hall. All of those things are important. Because when anybody talks about youth work, they say cuts this, cuts that. But what is youth work about? It's about inspiring people. So you have to support the right kind of youth work. I'm not interested in table tennis and biscuits. I'm interested in things that develop young people. And boxing has been doing that for 100 years and more. And one of the things I've noticed from my youth work, I used to do with a lot of boys who are a bit wayward, like to punch up. But I've noticed if they started doing boxing, that part of their personality transformed. They're no longer fighting in the street. They're no longer down the pub having a fight. Where they are is training. And they're involved with people who are a real big man who, who are helping them control their own behavior. And the real thing why I'm a conservative, the real thing why I'm running for mayor, because I want people to have independent lives. I don't want to control your life. I want to give you the opportunity to, to take charge of your own life. And boxing is a very important way of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, sports in general helps. But boxing is a very particular type and I absolutely would support it. Yeah, I overheard you um, talking to Stuart about the uh, gloves. Uh Gloves Up, Knives Down. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Gloves Up, Knife Down initiative is golden. It, what it shows you as well, there's boxing the activity and there's boxing the community. And the fact that people in the boxing community have, have found a way of building a charity that works with other clubs that already exist and just tries to help them raise more money and give them a direction to help them inspire their young people is again, it's another feather in the cap of the boxing crew. 
no matter where you talk to boxers, Liverpool, London, wherever it is, there's always that big community thing and they've always had the emphasis on helping young people move forward. I would just seek to amplify that. It's no coincidence as well that um, a lot of boxers that you see, professional boxers, mm -hmm. have come from that, that, that sort of background. Um, you know, they've, they've, they've been in life mm -hmm. time, or they've turned their lives around. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's, it, dedication has shown that, you know, they've been to the top. I mean, even like Andy Joshua, he's actually mm -hmm. not been to it, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, how important is it that we, you know, we need to get, get this, uh, 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 promote it a lot more? Mm -hmm. The unique thing with boxing is it often attracts boys who are who who who, who struggled a little bit, struggled with behaviour. They're attractive in the wrong way. They're, they're normally a bit sharp, a bit showy. You know, I mean, got the physical look, and that's that's led people to try and lead them astray. And boxing has acted as that anchor that's brought them back to the right path. That is not unique to boxing, but it's a definitely a big feature of boxing. And if you're a young boy and you go and you say to your mates, I'm going down a boxing club, they don't laugh. They don't laugh. There's enough respect for the art of boxing for you to be able to say that and, and to give you a resilience. And when they then say to you, look, we've got a criminal activity, you say, well, I'm a boxer now, I'll do something else. I've seen that happen a hundred thousand times over. It's not the only way to do it, but it's a definite way of doing it. And because boxing clubs already exist, you're not seeking to be, build something new, you're just seeking to support that's already there. Yeah. I mean, did you actually get down to many boxing clubs yourself? No. Yeah, I've got, there's, there's an absolute diamond of a boxing club where I live, because I come from East London, at Romford Way. It's called the Art of Boxing, just the, the, the trainers in there, there's a young guy and young girl in there who train young people. It's, for them, it's not even about the boxing, it's about the young people, mm -hmm. and the boxing is a the thing they use to attract them. I cannot tell you what a set of diamonds of people are in there, and you never go and see those young people train without a load of parents lining the walls, because they're so proud of it. Mm -hmm. People, I think, who are who don't come from our sort of working class background, or you know, they, 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 they misunderstand boxing, they don't understand what it gives, I cannot express to you. There's only, there's only a few um, activities in the world that can match the, the camaraderie and the community that boxing gives. Mm. So just going back a little bit to, you know, when you were a youth worker, um, how much success stories did you, know, did you see coming forward, and, and do you still keep in touch with you know, the, some of the kids that you've helped with? The thing about running for mayor is that I have to remember, I'm, I'm constantly confronted with, with the drama. We've had a 42% rise in knife crime, 39% rise in burglary, but I'm trying to hold on to the fact that most young people do really well. The reason I'm here at York Hall tonight, because you're seeing young people on the up, on the ascendance path, as it were, and it reminds me that as tough as it is, there's always hope and people generally work out. And that's why I'm at York Hall tonight. Mm -hmm. And I've, in my own sort of youth work career, I've seen many, many young people succeed. I'd like to say I've seen more young people succeed than I have seen fail. Yeah. Um, in in regards to the night club, I mean, how, how do you how do you plan in, in, in tackling that um, best you can if, if you became? I mean, if I became mayor, my approach to knife crime and all crime is this, it's a tough and tender approach. So on one end, I'm talking about a record amount of police, I'm talking about giving them the tools to do the job properly, I'm talking about backing the police. But on the other end, I'm talking about all the youth zones I will build, and I'm talking about another thing called a second chance fund. Because a lot of our communities have a revolving door between prison and community, I want to break that cycle and get those young kids who need the help most. And by the way, when I say young kids, basically anyone, anybody below the age of 30. But get them the support they need so they can get a job and, and just have an independent life. Yeah, absolutely. Um, aside, you know, possibly, uh, you know, outside of your um, politics, you know, how else do you, do you enjoy and how do you switch off? Because obviously being um, a politician, it's, it's uh, quite stressful. I mean, I did gymnastics for 22 years, so I'd like to tell you I go to the gym a bit. I do every now and then, but I've got a 10-year-old boy and a 12-year-old girl. Mm. I do a lot of cycling with them. We do a lot of walking and stuff. And I'm a guy, I like to build models. I'm quite a model builder. I'm not that big a football fan, except I grew up near um, QPR, so I like to see them do well. And of course, as a Londoner, they've got quite a choice. Yeah, absolutely. And um, thanks for giving me some time. I love talking to you longer, but obviously, um, you know, the show's starting soon. Absolute pleasure. And I just say to anybody watching this, come to York Hall. Massive fun. Um, do you want to shout out your social media so people can follow you as well? So my Twitter handle is Sean Bailey UK. Um, my Instagram is the same as well, Sean Bailey UK. Just, just come and see me. So I'm talking about there's lots of stuff for me and my daughter baking, and then Twitter's got a bit more political stuff on it. Fantastic. Thank you Pleasure. very much. Pleasure. Pleasure.